Hello family, today is June the 15th, today is Friday, and we are making some very, very quick tacos. So I'm just going to show you really, really quick on how um, I make my regular ground beef tacos. Um, what I did was I simply um, cut an onion, um, the top and the bottom, and um, while I begin cutting this up, I'm going to go through the process really, really quick on how to do this. Now... I have about three pounds of ground beef that is browning now um, here in this um, soft pan here. And uh, we want to uh, brown that and you want to pour the grease off of it. You do not want to keep the grease on that meat. You don't have to rinse it, just simply uh, pour the grease off. And then we will season it, but I will walk you guys through that process in just a few minutes. However, let's get these onions um, cut up really, really quick, quick so you can see how I um, dice mine. Now, I'm a lefty, so I know it probably look a little strange to a lot of you guys, the way in which I handle my knife. But please believe that I am so in charge of this right here. Um, I've been doing this for so long that it's just becoming second nature for me. Um, but once again... This is all in love, baby, and it's all in fun. Whatever works for you on however way you cut up your stuff, cut it up the way you cut it up. But this is just the way I cut up mine. Now we have some green onion. I simply just put those guys together like so. Bring them all together like that. Okay, now in this pot right here is simply my ground beef. And I have about three pounds, three to four pounds of ground beef here. And you simply want to just brown this. I have the heat on about eight. And whenever you're cooking with the lid on it, it makes it cook much, much, much faster. So you just want to kind of get this browned up. I don't particularly care for crumb meat. And when I mention crumb meat family, what I mean by crumb meat is when, you know, you, you, you mince up the ground beef so much where it's, it's like little bitty crumbs of meat. I don't like it like that. It's almost like you're trying to stretch it. And so I don't like that. If you don't have enough, then everybody just can't get all what they want to get. You wanted four, you can't get four. You got to get three, you know. But I just don't like my meat minced up really, really fine. Not to me. Now, this consistency here, this is what I go for. You know, where you still get a little hunk in spots. But I just don't like it really, really fine. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this uh, grease off here. Because you don't want to uh, season your meat with the grease still in your uh, saucepan. So let's um, pour that off right quick. Okay, now that I have poured that grease off, this is just a little bit of grease that's skimming the bottom. And that's okay, but that um, river of grease, you don't want to do that. So once you pour that off, now you begin to uh, start sauteing your onion. The thing is, the concept of pouring off the, uh, the con excuse me, the concept of not seasoning it, your meat before put, uh, pouring off the grease is the fact that you're going to be pouring off all of the flavor, okay? So before you begin to season it, if, if I'm making any sense, before you start seasoning or putting your onions inside of your meat, whatever it is that you're cooking, pour the grease off first because if you pour the grease off after you've seasoned it, then guess what? You're pouring off the flavor and you really don't want to do that. 
Okay, now you want to begin adding your seasoning packets. I have some Laurie's Taco Seasoning Mix. Now, um, you want those um, onions to kind of saute and cook down a little bit before um, you add um, your seasonings. Because once you begin adding the seasonings, you start to turn the fire down and it just simply begins to simmer. So you kind of want to pre-cook those a little bit prior to adding your seasoning. Now I added three, um, it's one packet per pound. And so um, you also add one cup of water to go in with that. Now, one thing about your seasoning packets, they're kind of high in sodium. So, you don't really want to continue to add more seasoning than what the packets offer because you don't want them to be uh, extra salty. Now, um, they do have a low sodium uh, packet with the of the same maker, Laurie's, um, and, and it's uh, significantly less in sodium, so it won't make them salty. But you just kind of want to be mindful of that when you want to add um, more seasonings onto your taco uh, meat. Okay, family, this is how I do my corn uh, tortillas. I don't like the, um, the pre-made, already done shells. I really don't particularly care for those. But I do like this, however. Now, simply, I just added some canola oil onto, ooh, it's a little hot. I, I added a little bit of canola oil at the bottom of my um, skillet. And um, you just simply just brown them on each side and then just turn them over and flip them until they take shape. And they're going to be hard, just like this guy is here. That's it, family. Now, when I cut up my lettuce like this, I cut up the whole thing. And after I'm done, I simply put it in a Ziploc and just store it in the refrigerator. And as the kids want more lettuce, it's already cut up and shredded for them already. Okay, family, let me start plating this up now. I um, put my shells inside of a container just to keep them fresh. And um, I line them, line the bottom with um, paper tile to kind of soak up that oil a little bit. So let's begin plating this up. show you the meat.
Bon Appetit family. Good night.